Somehow we're already three months into 2024, which feels literally crazy to me. It's crazy when you think of it as a quarter of the way through the year when it still feels like the year just started, but it's been flying by and now we're about to start April. Now, one of both of our goals for this year, so both mine and Dennis's, was to kind of two things. One was to stick to tracking our expenses every single month, but also on top of that, not just tracking what we're spending, but actually stick as close as possible to our budget. Now, last year was the first year that we were extremely on top of tracking our expenses every month. We've been doing it for years, we've had a budget, but I mean like we knew every single thing that we spent, tracked every single transaction, but we, what we weren't as good at is actually making sure we were spending as low as possible. So there were some categories like eating out for sure, clothes even last year, which isn't normal for us, different things like that that we definitely spent too much money on, but we learned a lot about what we we're okay with spending on, what areas, and also what we don't wanna be like wasting our money on personally this year. So at the beginning of this year, we really took a lot of time to think about our different budget categories categories and goals. I also wanna mention last year, even though we definitely overspent for what we wanted to, we still made sure that we hit all of our saving and investing goals first. And that's something we keep in mind this year as well. But we also wanted to put more thought into the areas we do spend on. Now, obviously making your budget in those different spending goals is the first most important step. A lot of people don't even do that. So that is the first key. But then on top of that, you really do need to stay on top of actually tracking your expenses. And even more forgotten than that is reviewing how you're doing against your goals. You don't want to set a goal like this and then just go about your year forgetting about it and then all of a sudden in December you're upset about how you did with your budget but you didn't give yourself a chance to fix fix things as you went. So that's what we're doing today, officially three months into the year, and we're gonna try and do this throughout the year too. We're gonna review how we've done so far for like the first quarter of the year. So let's get into the fun stuff and have both of us talk about everything we've spent so far. Okay, so now that Dennis has joined me, we want to take you guys through an overview of our spending for the first three months of the year. So we're going to cover January, February, and March, yep. kind of on their own, and then an average of the three to kind of compare to our actual budget categories. We're going to get into the details in a second, but first, I don't know if you guys saw the dating wrapped trend on TikTok at all, but we're going to give you kind of like a money wrapped presentation, presentation. Yeah, for Q1 of this year. So we're going to put up the slide deck, we're screen sharing with you guys, and we're going to get into the actual numbers, which is fun. So first up, just Overall, not a lot of context, but our total spending so far this year, I've spent $7,341.18 total over three months. Nice, nice. I've spent $6,451.56. Yes, so that's both of our spending. Obviously, again, you can see mine's higher, but we'll give you more context of how that breaks down. That's yeah. just like total buckets off the bat. Let's get into me first. So this is my month by month total spending. So January, February, March, you can see it's kind of like an upwards trend, which is funny. Mm -hmm. January, I spent $2,100.90 and I was so proud at the first month of the year. She was, so, she was so excited. I was like, just so happy. I was so happy. <laughs> Sticking to my budget is super important to me, but it's something that I like, I haven't done as often yeah. over the last year. I don't think I stuck under budget, maybe like right up budget a few times, but I wasn't under budget very often. Yeah. So this year, this shows that I'm actually doing two things. I've made the categories and goals accurate to what I want to do and I care about those goals. Mm -hmm. And also they're not extremely restrictive and I'm prioritizing hitting them. So anyway, yeah. January was great. February, I was slightly above budget, but it wasn't too crazy. I actually hit all of my own spending goals. We just went out to like a birthday dinner for a friend that yeah. brought me slightly over. And then in March, this is what makes it feel like I'm on some upward trend, downward spiral, whatever. She's back at it again, guys. <laughs> but I'm not. I got my hair cut and dyed. Normally I do it a little later in the year, but I only do it one time per year. So this was a particularly high yeah. month. I do want to say, I feel like people in videos like this will say, oh, it just happens to be a high month. And then every month happens to be a high month. I don't think that's gonna happen to me this year. So you're saying it's not a trend. It's not like, a trend. Even though the bars are going, they appear to be going higher and higher. Next quarter, we're gonna see it dip back down. That's the goal. But it's good for me to be reviewing it at this point and already see this. So it's in my mind to bring yeah. it back down. So that's my total spending. My monthly average, $2,447.06. That's lower by like $500 than my monthly average last year. So we're wow. tracking really well for Q1. If that's anything, really I'm hoping it'll go down next time. So. We'll see, and that's where I'm at. Cool. Monty? Yeah, mine, as you can see, is a little bit different. So my January is obviously pretty high in comparison to the other months. And Steph said that she started off her year like super, super excited. She was happy. <laughs> For me, it was the opposite. And it's not even like I'm spending like a crazy amount of money, but yeah, it's just- Yeah, not much more than me. Like, you know, when you're, when you're not used to spending, when you're not used to seeing certain numbers and you see them, it just- Spending money hurts him, you know? It's it, not like he's not someone who gets excited about spending money, you know? Yeah, like if it's, if it's on like, 
if it's on like random things, then it's, it, you know, I don't get a lot of value out of that. So you can see that that's reflected in my February graph as well. Like you'll see that January, a little upset. So therefore February, a little lower, but then March, you guys will see when we talk about like what's causing, you know, basically the details of everything. Mm -hmm. You'll see that March for me has been a really big month just because of like friends, gifts, certain things that are just, you know, I wasn't really anticipating them, but they just, they ended up happening. I actually you know? think Dennis stuck more to his specific budget categories <laughs> this month than any other month this year. So the other two, but is those gift yeah. categories. So we'll talk more about it, but your yeah. monthly average. Yeah, my monthly average is $2,165.31. So lower than Steph's, but. It's funny because it's know. lower than mine, but for me, mine's like, yay, great job. And for him, it's like, ooh, like a little concerned. But either way, you're still compared to your budget. You were tracking it very well. Yeah. He's under budget, under what he has allocated to spend every month. So. Yeah. You're doing good. <laughs> okay, so also a quick visual for you. We're gonna get more into the details, but just to show you an overview of the average spending by category. So mm -hmm. instead of by month, this is an average of the three combined divided by three. You know what an average is. So you can see groceries is the highest category other than rent isn't included because that's high, yeah. of course. And then you can see my restaurants only $127 a month. It's below my $150 budget. So yay, slow give me clap. a little slow clap. Slow clap. Uh, otherwise, everything is pretty like, you can see my gifts and donations is a little higher than I'd expect on a monthly average at yeah. this point too. Other is high because I got my hair cut, of course, but otherwise I'm pretty happy with it. It's pretty good. Yeah, mine mine's looking okay. <laughs> Restaurants is a little bit higher than I would like it to be. Um, everything, know. yeah, everything else is pretty consistent. Gifts and donations, you can see that's a big one. That's the one that I was talking about earlier. Like some of the things that I've spent money on, I just, uh, you know, at, in January, I didn't think I'd be spending money on them in you know, March or February or whenever they came out. But yeah, I think everything else is okay. It's really just gifts and making sure that I'm keeping my restaurants lower. Yeah, and then really quickly before we move on, I do wanna to touch on investing just mm -hmm. in case you're new here or you're concerned that we're not also hitting our investing <laughs> goals. We both invest $2,000 a yeah. month, so $6,000 so far this year. And we'll see at the end of the year if we're able to add more to that too. But that's where we're at and that's a wrap for this. We're gonna get into the details now in a second. So stay with us. Okay, so that was the overview. Now we actually wanna tell you how we did against our personal budget categories. Cause we have similar categories, but different goals for each one. So. Yeah. We're gonna pull it up. I made a full on little sheet for ourselves and let's go through it all. So first expense, rent, we pay 950 a month. That's obviously exactly on budget because nothing's happened to it. Consistent, yeah. Yeah, same with internet and utilities. Like I said, when I say 950, that's my half of the rent. His is the same, so double it. Internet and utilities, um, technically our internet goal is $31.07 just because that's what our internet was at the start of the year. Mm -hmm. It did go up by a few dollars a month. So we've actually spent an average of $35.87. Pretty similar, but yep. technically over. Utilities, our goal is about $30 a month or less because that's what it typically is. So far this year, we've spent $27.88 on average per month each. Groceries is our first one. That's a variable that's gone up like we touched on before. Yeah. Both of our goals each is $300 a month. Yeah, but we've been at about $390 each so far. We'll see how that changes throughout the year. Now, restaurants is the first one where we have different goals based on how much we want to spend in that category. Yeah. So my restaurant budget is $150 a month. I want to, I'm happy if I spend that full amount, but I not more than that ideally. But I've only spent, like I said before, the average of $127 a month. I think I went under budget two months and then slightly above one month, but it worked out because the average obviously is still less. Yeah. Yeah, because we did one restaurant that was like, I think I spent $180 on it for the month. But then the other two I was under, which is why the, going over it in chunks is nice. Yeah, for me, for me, my goal is $100. And yeah. what I actually spent on average was $147.01. And I don't know, like, I feel like January was just a bit bigger in terms of spend. Mm -hmm. Like I said before, like, I think we went out for we went out for food. And then I went out with like friends. Um, and then it was a bit lower. So what, what's what, what you'll find is also interesting is that my budget is actually lower than what she budgets for that yeah. category. And on top of that, my actual spend, like the average, is low is lower than what her actual budget would be. Budget would be. Yeah. So in theory, she would actually be happy. Yeah, with his if she had spent what I what I was spending. But you're a little but over. I'm a I'm I'm over. Yeah. So, you know, you'll change it up. It's just how <laughs> the month's gone so far. Coffee shops is similar. I budget fifty dollars a month, and that's like keep in mind. $50 a month, but that's normally we get one for both of us. Maybe we'll get a croissant too or something like it's just, it's not just on coffee. To be fair, I budget 20 
and yeah. it's supposed to be for the both of us. Yeah, that's for both of us too. So it's still less, but I like <laughs> going to coffee shop more. But so I'm still been under budget so far this year. So my budget's $50. I spent an average of $30.53. So I feel good about that. Like you said, yours is 20. Yeah. You're still under. Yeah, I budget 20. Actual average is just over $9, $9.87. So I guess so. like one trip a month, basically. Yeah. That's kind of what it's been. Um, yeah. Public transportation, this one's like not super serious for us in the sense that we auto reload our public transit pass. Mm -hmm. For me, I auto reload when it hits $100 and that happens roughly every two months, which is why I just budget $50 a month and then most months will be zero or 100. That's kind of how it goes. Yeah. Some of my average is actually a little lower. It's $42.88. Maybe that's because I just reloaded once. I'm not really sure. Oh yeah, I had some individual trips in there where I forgot my transit pass, like I couldn't find it. She used her. My, you can tap your you can um, tap credit, your credit card. card. Yeah. And then for you, for me, uh, I budget $100, um, actual average spend is $50. Pretty similar. For me, my, yeah, my card reloads at every $50. Yeah. It's just what I've always had it at. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then taxi services, we both budget zero actually, because our goal is just not to spend on it. Yeah. Sometimes we have to and that's fine, but yeah. we don't want to like encourage ourselves to every single month. We also so, never really have to, right? Like we don't really go anywhere where we're having to take like really far Ubers that we can't take public transportation. Exactly. So yeah. budgeted zero, but I spent an average of $9.32. And then for you? For me, budget zero spent average is $4.41. Yeah, it's pretty similar. Just I had an extra trip or a longer trip <laughs> or something. Yeah. Massage slash physiotherapist, because I get a massage every single month. So budget $146.90. Mm -hmm. I've spent an average $146.90. Dennis is a little different. Yeah, mine's a little bit different because this is the first year where I'm actually taking that part of my health seriously <laughs> so i started seeing a physiotherapist at the beginning of the year was it the beginning of the year yeah. it was in december that was my first appointment and then um, i had an appointment in january and i believe february and i didn't have one this month so i budget 160 dollars because that's usually what it is and my actual average over three months because i didn't have that i didn't go this month was 106 dollars and 67 cents nice um, the dentist, we haven't gone so far this year. Mm -hmm. Personal care, I budget $100 a month. Now, I know I almost always spend over this, but this is the one category where, for me, I'd rather keep it low. Even though I'm gonna go over a little, it encourages me to not, for personal care, if I said 150, I'd spend 150. But if I have 100, maybe I'll only spend like 110 because I'm trying to stick to 100. So for me, it works. I spent an average of $137.90 a month in this uh, category. Yeah. Keep in mind, personal care for me isn't really like, Hair is separate, hair is other. I don't get my nails done or whatever. It's toiletries, it's like different things like that. Maybe if I do need a makeup product, stuff like that for me yeah. that was under personal care. Okay, for me, my, I budget $100 and then my actual spend on average was $68.60. Basically you budget I, the same, but you tend to spend less. Yeah, I think personal care for me would just be like any hair care products, uh, lotion. <laughs> the basics. Yeah, basics. <laughs> So next up, gifts and donations. Again, we budget $0 for this only because it's not like, oh, every single month we're gonna get a gift that's worth $100, yeah. you know? Instead, we might know in a specific month that's coming up. This is how I kind of do it. I have my other category, you'll see in a second, just be bigger. And then I'm not ideally actually spending in other, I'm spending in gifts or yeah. whatever, and it kind of equals up to the same thing. So for me, I budget zero, but my average has been $189.50. That was the friend's birthday dinner. I bought a Valentine's Day comedy show tickets for Dennis and I. I think yeah. those are the two big ones. A lot of fun, by the way. Yeah. What? Yeah, for, for me, uh, this one's the big one, right? Like, I budget zero. Actual average spend was $287.44. And this would be, once again, my friend's birthday. He turned 29. <laughs> Not so, quite 30. Big birthday. Um, I got Raptors tickets for one of my friends who's getting married, what, a month or two month, from now? Yeah. So, like, yeah, just something that I wanted to do for him. Um, yeah, concert tickets for Steph's birthday. What's, What's funny is that I was reading that and I'm like, is this a surprise? I don't want to ruin the surprise. It's not a surprise. I know. She, she knew about it. Yeah. Yeah. She, she asked. She asked me. What am I saying? <laughs> yeah, I like it was a full <laughs> surprise. Yeah, I was gonna say. By the way, he actually got great Raptors tickets for the price. It's I just, did. I they're did. They're expensive. I did. <laughs> Um, clothing, we both budgeted $0 and have spent $0 for both of us, which is amazing. Yep. We're not big clothing spenders, but last year we did end up buying more clothing than normal. Yep. Uh, same with travel, budgeted 0 on a monthly basis. Haven't done any traveling yet this year, so it's 0 Subscriptions, um, mine's Spotify, $12.42. That's been my average. You're hitting it too. Yeah, Netflix. Yeah. 
Um, and then fitness, again, fitness for us is our basketball intramurals. That's what we do every like season. They go every three months. Yeah. So we're actually wrapping up right now our current one. Again, we don't budget monthly because it's not every single month and the price of the intramurals can fluctuate, but yeah. we did pay for our next session coming up. So the average over three months is $41.06 for both of us. Cool. It's the same. Uh, other, last one here, other than investing, was for me, again, $339.52 is my budget. Very random and specific. It's just the like to encaps encapsulate, incorporate, I don't know, any other yeah. expense that's budgeted zero as well. To capture it. Yeah. I am, capture, there we go. I am <laughs> under budget though. Average of $305.21. This is like my tax return we did so far this year. Anytime I do an Amazon stock up of vanilla coffee syrup. And then mm. the big one was my haircut and hair appointment. We're gonna do a short form video about that if you wanna hear exactly how much I spent this year, but it was high. <laughs> And then your other? And then mine, uh, I budget $255 and then my actual average was $27.51. So it's kind of funny because everything kind of works out for me in a way because it's like I'm higher in this area, yeah. but then I also have a budget in the other category where clearly there's a lot of room there. That's why it's good and to be like, if anything, slightly over budget and not be too restrictive, but be okay with the different yeah. categories we spend in. Yeah, for me that was new headphone pads, which by the way were a big mistake. <laughs> if, you know, ask me about it if you want to know. Yeah. Um, tax return and then, yeah, haircuts. Yeah, so far this year. And then investing, of course, we're on budget. We budget 2,000 a month, we invest 2,000 a month, that we have automatic, yeah. it happens no matter what. First of so, every month. Yeah, my overall budget goal for the month, including investing, is to spend $4,159.91. My actual average is $4,447.06, like you saw. So I'm a little over budget. This yeah. is still under my monthly income for the month, so that's how I can be above budget. But ideally, I'll save a little bit more of that extra moving forward. Yeah. For me, I looking at the numbers, like I'm a bit disappointed just because I'm a I'm very like results oriented type of person. <laughs> so my overall budget is four thousand sixty nine dollars and seventy nine cents, and right now I'm averaging four thousand one hundred sixty five dollars and thirty one cents. So for me, like what would feel good would be me either hitting that or being slightly below. I will say slightly though, below. he is I'm actual only, only spending has been good. It's only the gifts, so you're doing good. Yeah, no gifts for anyone else this year. <laughs> He's cut off. Yeah. Okay, so that is it for our average spending in our first quarter of the year. Okay guys, so that's a wrap on this video. We hope that you guys enjoyed the format and yeah, like actually let us know if you did because we're planning on doing these videos every three months throughout the year. So if you did, let us know down in the comment box below. We actually really wanna hear your feedback. Also, let us know how your spending is going so far this year. Are you sticking to your budget? What's your highest expense so far this year? Literally give us all the details and we'll see you next week with another video.